Here we will look at how we place an opening into a wall. Uh, the easiest way I find to do this is to uh, obviously find out where you want to place the hole uh, and then go to that elevation view. So if this, if I'm, if I'm going to do this wall here, that will be my east view. So I'm going to east and this is my east elevation here. Um, and the easiest way to do this is just select the wall itself so it goes blue. And then up the top here we've got this wall opening. Uh, and then what I want to do is just um, drag. So I'm going to go from... Uh, this datum point here because this is the, the top of my finished floor level on the ground floor and i'm just going to draw uh, a rectangle uh, or drag a rectangle across i'm not worried about the sizes just yet i'm going to alter the size in a moment so once i've done that just hit the escape key twice just to um, get rid of the, the drawing mode and when i click on the outside because what i've done is i've actually placed an opening into the wall so revit sees the opening as an object rather than as a space so once it's in here, I can now start adjusting sizes and dimensions and that kind of stuff. So the height of it, um, I need to grab this witness line. It always, for some reason, goes to the nearest object, which in which, in which case is this window up here. Um, so depending on where you're working, it might be slightly different. So I'm going to grab this witness uh, line. I'm actually going to locate it, and I actually need to move my mouse onto this datum line. You can see the datum line turns blue and get it onto there. And then once I've done that, into here, I can put the height. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to go two meters 100, and, and there. And then uh, for the base, uh, I'm going to align this uh, with this line here. So I'm going to use my line tool, so AL on the keyboard. And it's always destination first, in which case is this point here, and then that point here. And that just drags that down. You kind of need to do it in that order, otherwise, you can get a bit of a a pickle with it. Uh, once I've done that, for the widths, um, it's actually easier to look in the ground floor view uh, and have a look at these widths. Um, so I've just come out of the line view. So in here, if I wanted this to be a specific size, let's say three meters, 100, uh, I would do that. And once I've done that, um, I might change this to, I don't know, 900 from that wall there, whatever. Uh, and once I've done that, obviously I need to get rid of this wall because I don't want that wall uh, in view. Uh, and then uh, I can go back to my 3D view and we can have a look and we can now see we've provided this opening uh, inside our wall uh, for whatever we want it to be. It could be just an opening or we may be putting some um, uh, glazed panels in there, whatever. That's it.